All right, so here we are, part two of the video. Um, we're going to be using the Prusa slicer um, for my Prusa i3 Mark II S. Um, you can download regular slicer uh, from online. I'll put a link in the video. So this is the slicer. Um, so now we need to take our STL file that we made in Fusion and bring it in here. So open up the folder where you had it. This is a Janky Shack poker chip. We're just going to hold that and drag it in here. And now we have our coin. This is a uh, this is our printer bed here, and that's what it's going to try to look like. So the problem with this is a 3D printer can't print very well like this because a 3d printer it needs to print think of it like a glue gun you can't glue gun something in midair you need to let that goo let that glue like sit on some things and build it up so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this so it's green and then we're going to right click and click uh rotate around x axis and we're going to do 90 degrees push enter so you see now it's flat on that printer bed. Okay, so up here in the print settings, uh, you've got all kinds of stuff. This is like how detailed you want. Uh, we're just going to do uh, 15 uh, 0.15 millimeters. Um, make sure you have your filament for. The, we're going to use PLA. Uh, so yeah, your filament setting. You can also, if you don't have it have that one you can just use a gen generic PLA but uh I've kind of modified a little bit so I'll use that um, and then the printer we're going to use our Prusa i3 Mark II um, if you guys change the nozzle in your printer um, you're going to need to use the preset associated with that right now I've got the standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle which is uh, kind of why I made it this size uh, if you have a smaller nozzle you can get a smaller coin because you'll be able to get more detail. If you have a larger nozzle, you're probably going to have some difficulty printing this size coin. Uh, so with the standard 0.4 nozzle, uh, these are the settings I'm using. And you can go into like print settings. Uh, now this stuff isn't going to be really important because kind of like the size of this thing. And then basically you're just going to click slice now. So it didn't look like it did anything. But if you go down here to the preview tab, now you can actually see what the printer's gonna do. So if you pull this down all the way, that's gonna be the first layer, second layer, third layer, fourth layer, fifth layer. The fifth layer is where it starts printing the actual coin thing, like the middle. That's at 0.8 millimeters. And if you want to do multiple colors, this is important to note. So 0.8, and then go up. Okay, the uh, first one where our text is again is 2.75. So just remember that 0.8 and 2.75, and then it goes up. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Export G-Code. And we can, I like to put like, uh, the kind of filament, the nozzle size, then the file name, just so that if I, because if I change the nozzle or something, then I want to make sure that I have the, uh, I know what the file G code is, because you can't open up a G code file, like again. So now we have that. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. So now as you can see, we have our G code file here that we just made. Okay, so if you want to print the coin and just have one color, you can put this in your 3D printer and go ahead and print it. If you're interested in making a two color coin, uh, or two or three, um, we're going to be using this color print, which is a website. Um, put the link in the video description. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to take our G code that we just made. We're gonna drop it in here. And so see it's loaded now. So we're gonna do standard because we don't have a multiplenarial on my printer. Add color change, we're going to do that 0.8. And 
and uh, 2.75 and just click outside of here. Okay, so now we have our two color changes. This is going to stop the printer right before it prints that 0.8 layer and right before it does that 2.75 layer so you can change your colors. Uh, so now we can download G code again and it's going to give us the new G code. Uh, I like to show that flow. Oh, this is the uh, font. So now I'm going to rename this and I like to do a, do a 2C in the front so I know that it's a dual color. So I'll know that to stand near the printer when it beeps to change the uh, thing. And then uh, oh, I'll put that over here in my folder with my coins. And then uh, go ahead and you can put this file onto your SD card for your printer. So that's it for this episode uh, of the series. In the next series we'll show you how to after you put this on the SD card, we'll show you how to get the printer set up and actually print it and go through how to change the filament colors so you can get the true dual side, dual color uh, poker chip.